to its colour and texture, wallpaper is back in fashion. But many of those new to wallpaper are a little uncertain about how to hang wallpaper. Hi, I'm Mirjana, compulsive home decorator, and this is John Howe, wallpaper expert. Together we're going to show you how easy it is to hang wallpaper. Stick around, or should I say stay pasted, for all you need to know about preparing wall surfaces. If you're starting with new jib board, lightly sand the plaster stopping with 120 grit sandpaper to get rid of imperfections. Use a horizontal sanding action to stay true to the wall surface. If you sand up and down on the joints, you're likely to cause indentations that will show through the wallpaper. Dust thoroughly, and then apply a liberal coating of size. You can buy size in granulated form or this ready mixed latex size, which is formulated to make it very easy to slide the paper into position. If the existing wallpaper is vinyl, you're in luck. The top layer peels off a treat. The backing paper can then be scraped off easily once it has been soaked with a little warm water. Once that's out of the way, you'll need to give the walls a coat of fresh size and when it's dry, you'll be ready to start hanging your new wallpaper. If you're redecorating an old home and the walls are already covered with layers of old wallpaper, you'll need to strip it so you can start with a nice smooth surface. This Sinza wallpaper tool scores the surface, so either steam or a mixture of DIF wallpaper stripper can penetrate the layers and rapidly dissolve the old paste. Enameled bathroom and kitchen walls need to be washed with sugar soap, rinsed clean, sanded with 80 grit sandpaper, dusted and coated with size. Nothing really to get your feathers ruffled about. Many home decorators will be familiar with jib board that has become yellowed with age or stained from weeks of waiting for a leak to be repaired. If the room you're decorating fits this description, the walls will need to be coated with an oil-based pigmented sealer. Otherwise, show-through could be a problem. Remember the correct steps. Plaster stopping will need to be lightly sanded with 120 grit sandpaper. Next, apply one coat of pigmented sealer this should be thinned approximately 5% to ensure it penetrates. Once it's dry, sand with 80 grit sandpaper. And then apply a liberal even coat of size. Use a damp sponge to wipe off any splashes from mouldings, architrave and skirting boards. Preparation is worth getting right because it will give you a much better finished result. There's also a belief out there that it's quicker to paint. But think about it. If I were to paint this room, I'd have to sand, undercoat, sand again, and apply at least two good finishing coats in order to get a good result. Along with the heavier work of painting, there's also the hassle of cutting in and masking around the fittings and architraves. Once you get into the swing of wallpapering, it's lots of fun. And in my opinion, much easier than painting.